All right. Spear is your basic rapier rotation. If you have a spear as secondary, you're opening its cure into perforate. That's is standard. And then Tondo into animation cancel with evade into light attack. Like this. Into flurry. So one more time. You're opening Tondo into evade into light attack. Into flurry. At this point, you can, if both your Tondo and your Evade is off cooldown, you can reapply one more Tondo into light, into Evade Light Attack. And that's basically it for the rotation. You Flurry when it's off cooldown, and otherwise you just spam Evade and M1. It's really useful to have Evade on your mouse for this. It allows you to move while spamming. Now, if Tondo is off cooldown, but your Evade is not, you don't want a Tondo, because it locks you for too long. So you only want a Tondo when you can animation cancel at the end of it using Evade. Again, like that. A lot of the time when you're switching back to Spear, to get the debuffs up again, that's when you're going to have an opportunity to key in Tondo, or Tondo, into Evade Light Attack. Now, if you're running this build here, which I recommend, if you're running solo, and you're the only rapier in the group, this is a pretty easy build to perform well with. The flurry will reapply, well, it will extend the rapier bleed by one second per hit, so that's a five second extension, uh, which makes it easy to keep all of your stack refreshed the duration of the boss fight which is important because you get a five percent damage buff on targets with a rapier bleed on them so essentially you only have to tondo three times uh, now i'll show you what it looks like in practice and excuse the shitty quality this is for my stream Rapier is by far the highest single target DPS weapon in the game. And this is one of the builds that you can run. It's the easiest one to perform well with, I would say. I run a variation of this build when we do our world record runs, because I have Roger with me who's playing Rapier as well, applying Tondos. He's running more of a bleed style build. I'll link his build down below and a video of my build and my gear setup and the weapon mastery breakdown of the two different builds that I run. Um, try the rapier this week. The Lazarus mutation is really forgiving. It's pretty meek and it's a lot of fun. So try it out. If you want to see more rapier gameplay, you can tune into my stream at Twitch. I'll link that down below. Um, just got affiliated today, so I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, thank you for watching. Till next time, peace.